Today in history. Wow. That was a good one. I didn't realize I mine yeah, I have it too. I'm gonna join you starting tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, well, go ahead, go ahead. A duet. A duet, right? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Today in history. history. <laughs> <laughs> so it is April 7th, and we're going to continue with our journey to the past. Yes, we have just one event to check out today, but it's a pretty important one. But before we talk about that, here is your quiz question. Mm. WHO is an acronym for, number one, World Health Organization, or number two, Who Hides Onions? That's <laughs> very famous organization, oh, right? Yes. Uh, WHO is an acronym for number one, World Health Organization, or number two, Who Hides Onions. If you know the answer right now, you can text in on your cell phone, pounder sharp one zero four five for fifty one, or leave your answers on our Bundy board for a chance to win a lock and lock eco mug cup. Okay, so, so let's find out what happened on this day in history. Today in history, in 1948, the World Health Organization was established. Okay, well, from literature and music to the big screen and ubiquitous inventions, this day actually had it all. Yeah, what else happened today? Well, in 1770, <clears throat> pardon me, one of the most prominent English poets was born. Aha, uh -huh, William Wordsworth, who was one of Britain's <clears throat> poet laureates or official poets. Yeah, that's right. And another important figure in the field of literature was Chilean poet Gabriela Mistral, right? Aha, uh -huh. Gabriela Mistral, the only Latin American woman to have won the Nobel Prize in Literature, who was also born on this day in 1889. Yeah, literature was marked on this day with the birth of these two renowned authors, but we also had another important event on this day, one that we don't come to think of often, but it's actually quite ubiquitous. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Well, actually, it was on this day in 1827 that English chemist John Walker sold the first friction match. Ah, because 성경 개비 끊는 거 있죠? Yeah, right. Which he invented in the previous day. I think oh, you're well. right. We don't we don't think about that very often, do right. we? But those so, are everywhere. So he liked his own invention so much, and the right next day he decided to just you know go for the uh, the the. Oh, yes, that's what it is. He sold it. Yeah, the next day, the very uh -huh. next day. Well, today is also the day when one of the most important voices in the music industry was born. Uh -huh. The voice belonged to none other than Billie Holiday. She was born in 1915, and she was considered as one of the most powerful voices of the 20th century that even Frank Sinatra was said to have been deeply affected uh, affected uh -huh. by Holiday's performances when he was young. Uh, so I guess Billie Holiday had a, a huge impact effect mm. on on uh, Frank Sinatra. Right. Mm. What that was, well, maybe it made him cry. Who knows what her music <laughs> That's did. That's right. Well, speaking of milestone people and institutions, we do have the establishment of the World Health Organization, 세계보건기구, the authority when it comes to health-related issues on the global stage. That's right. The World Health Organization was established in 1948 on this day, and it is a specialized agency of the UN, and it is headquartered Ordered in Geneva, Switzerland. Right, and its predecessor, the Health Organization, was an agency. Was the agency of the League of Nations. Well, now the name of the organization was chosen specifically uh, with the word "world" instead of international to emphasize the truly global nature of what the organization was seeking to achieve. Interesting. Well, among the achievements of the WHO, it has made notable advancements in checking polio, leprosy, cholera, malaria, and tuberculosis. Mm. The organization is also authorized to issue global health alerts, and they also release the World Health Report every year, giving an account of overall health of people in UN member nations. Mm. And it comes as no surprise that uh, April 7th is also known as World Health Day. Interesting. Mm, and each year there is health-related theme that's dedicated on this day. Okay, so the theme for 2014 mm. is Small Bites, 
Big Threats, mm. which aims at heightening or highlighting uh, vector-borne diseases caused by mosquitoes, sandflies, bugs, ticks, and snails. These are common, uh, common causes for thousands of deaths each year, uh. causing fatal conditions such as dengue, malaria, and yellow fever. Ah, uh, dengue, good disease, 말씀하시는 거군요. 네. Okay, so interestingly enough, many great events have happened on this day in history. Just looked at uh, some of them. Absolutely, and And we're nearly finished with today in history, but we have to give the answer to the quiz question, which came just a moment ago. The WHO is an, or, uh, an acronym, excuse me, for number one, the World Health Organization. Right. And we'll go to this break. When we come back, Jason joins us in the studio for today's Sports World. Here's a tune from Craig David, Don't Love You No More. I'm sorry.